Though it's often taken for granted, in many ways, your mouth is the gatekeeper between the outside world and the rest of your body. Your mouth is teeming with billions of tiny living one-celled microorganisms called bacteria. There are more bacteria in your mouth right now than there are people on Earth. Over time, these bacteria can stick together and multiply over and over again. They form a colony, and the colonies can then join together, forming a thick layer called a plaque biofilm. This can eventually spread across every surface of your entire mouth, your teeth, your gums, your cheeks, and your tongue. Every small space in your mouth provides the perfect environment for the most harmful bacteria to thrive and for the plaque biofilm to grow, which it can do dramatically over the course of a single day. Your mouth's inflammatory cells are activated to kill the bacteria, but the bacteria can build strong defenses within the colony to stay alive. Even antibiotics are no match for these resilient bacteria. These inflammatory cells, which are designed to protect the body, can then cause harm in the form of gum inflammation, also known as gingivitis, the earliest stage of gum disease. People with diabetes are even more susceptible to gum disease because their blood vessels are compromised. The area between your teeth and gums is densely packed with intricate blood vessels. Normal everyday activities can burst those tiny vessels. Then pieces of the plaque biofilm and bacteria can detach and mix with the blood. Giving bacteria from the surface of your mouth full access to the rest of your body. And for people with severe gum disease, new science suggests that these bacteria may link to other disorders. Like heart disease, where bacteria may be involved in plaque buildup in the blood vessels or pneumonia, where bacteria can create an infection in your lungs. Or rheumatoid arthritis, a debilitating disease of inflammation in the joints. Or preterm low birth weight in infants, which may be linked to bacteria passed from the mother to her fetus. Good oral care can positively affect your overall health, and leading dental organizations agree that brushing twice a day is not enough. Adding flossing and rinsing with an antimicrobial rinse can significantly improve and maintain your oral health, which is important because what happens in your mouth doesn't stay 